In this video, we're going to use the bitmap drawing tools to do some traditional frame by frame animation. Let's do the same bouncing ball exercise we did before, but this time do it hand drawn. First I'm going to make a layer and establish the ground plane. Then for the ball itself, we need to set up a frame by frame group. We'll go to the add layer button and then pick frame by frame. Now we need to choose whether to use vector or image layers for this animation. I'm going to use image layers for this demo. Now I need to pick a naming scheme and size for the images that we'll use for our frames. I'm actually going to make the image a little wider than 1080p so I have room to draw outside the edge of the camera frame. And now we need to choose a folder where we want to keep the image files for this frame by frame group. Remember, image layers in Moho will link to a separate image file. They aren't saved as part of the .moho file. So we'll make a folder in the directory next to our project file. And now image layers we create in this frame by frame group will automatically get put there. Then if we open that, we can see that it's made an image layer to serve as our first frame of animation. I'll start by drawing a ball at the top of the starting drop just out of frame. Then to make the next frame I'll come out later on the timeline where I want the ball to hit the ground and press this button which makes a new layer and switches to it at this point on the timeline. These other buttons are for if you want to delete a frame or duplicate the current frame in case you just want to modify the last drawing instead of redrawing it. Then the key to making this process work is to use onion skinning. This lets us see previous and upcoming frames. We just need to click just above the timeline to set the frames where we want to be able to see. You can set up to eight total frames, either backwards or forwards. And those markers track with wherever you have your playhead, unless you go in the settings drop down here and uncheck relative frames then they stay wherever you set them. Now I'm going to go through and make drawings for all of the keyframes of the bounce. If you ever decide you want to retime something, you can just click and drag to move the switch points around. Now I'm going to set the onion skinning back to relative and go through and fill in the in-between frames. Okay, now let's try playing it back. So there we go. Now if you wanted, you could make another frame by frame layer over this to do cleanup drawings over these roughs, either with one of the inking brushes or even the vector drawing tools. That's really all there is to it. Technically this process is very straightforward. It all comes down to drawing an animation skill. Now I'm not going to be doing a full hand drawn animation as part of our final project, but I will show you how to use these tools to plan out your animation's timing and poses. We'll do that in the next video. I'll see you there.